Hi, I'm Rachel McDonough, Certified Financial Planner and Certified Kingdom Advisor. Welcome to the five-part scripture-based mini devotional series on faith-based investing. Our first scripture is found in John 10, verses 27 and 28, where Jesus says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. Another verse with a similar theme is James 1, 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Whatever your past experience is, I want to invite you to operate in faith today with the assumption that God actually wants to speak to you and give you his wisdom for all areas of your life, even your investing. If your work is his calling on your life, then I would suggest that he wants you to succeed even more than you do. He is for you. And he knows everything. So let's be wise and cultivate a habit of seeking his voice in these four key ways. First, examining the scriptures. We can go right to the Bible anytime we want to know what God has to say on a specific subject. Second, listening prayer. This is where we quiet our hearts, especially after meditating on scripture, to wait for him to drop ideas into our mind or show us his heart so that we can begin to see his wisdom for our unique circumstances. Third, seeking wise counsel from other believers. Sometimes God will put his wisdom for your life in the mouth of a friend or even your spouse. And fourth, listening to our conscience. The conscience is often the place where God speaks to us most personally, showing us the specific and practical application for biblical wisdom. Unfortunately, it's too easy to ignore the nudge of the conscience and rationalize our way to a more convenient decision but the first rule of faith-based investing is that it simply isn't convenient. After all, worship never is.